is. There's the rest of our storm system circulating off to the north over New England and Nova Scotia. We do have some wraparound cloud cover coming down off the Great Lakes. Most of that kind of breaking apart before it gets here, although I'll allow for some of that later this afternoon. And there could be a flurry surviving at times in that lake effect flow, but not a real big deal for us today. The main thing is the cold air still in place, the snow still on the ground, and strong winds wrapping in behind the departing storm system and over top of an area of high pressure that's on its way in. Lots of sun at the shore today, but 39 for the high, windy and cold. And up in the Poconos, the same story, windy, maybe some flurries, and 27 for the high there. And today in Philadelphia, we'll go 38, which is still below average, and it won't feel that good because of that northwest gusting wind. Tonight, down into the teens in some areas, clear skies, and winds out of the northwest at 6 to 12. Again, the wind is still biting today. Those gusts 20 to 30 miles per hour. Wind chills making it feel like it's in the 20s for now. And perhaps the teens after dark as those temperatures start to fall. And I have a bit of a concern about frostbite now through Wednesday because we're going to maintain these cool, blustery patterns. Cover your skin and take lots of breaks, especially if you feel your skin, your toes, or your fingers tingling, okay? And that's a real good uh, bit of advice for those kids out there playing in the snow over the next couple of days. Tuesday, it's still windy and cold across the region. High temperatures probably cooler tomorrow, and the wind will still be a factor, so plan on bundling up on Tuesday and probably Wednesday as well. The call from AccuWeather for today, it is still cold, and even the word cold is shivering. Your exclusive AccuWeather 7-day shows 38 today, just 32 tomorrow, and 29 on Wednesday with mostly sunny skies. Thursday, Christmas Eve, some will give way to clouds during the day, a high of 37, and late at night, we're thinking pretty late, you're going to start to see some precip moving in, and it looks like it could be some... Snow mixing with some ice, and then overnight, that could be a bit of an issue, but by Christmas morning, very early, we expect it to be pretty much all rain and a high of 40 degrees there. So Christmas Day, mainly rain, but overnight and into the early mornings, particularly north and west of Philadelphia, Rick, we could have uh, some of that wintry mix, okay? Okay, David, thank yeah. you. Have a nice afternoon.